Okay guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video I'm gonna show you, as the title describes, how to make the battery removable and make a form of a quick disconnect uh, that you can disconnect it safely. So I'm gonna start by showing you how this whole contraption works and as you see I'm using velcro, I use the double sided one and then I just glue the male to the female one and make um, a long strand of it basically and I bolt, I, I attach the velcro to the fast scooter box with um, two bolts. And uh, for the connection here you see I use uh, XT90 anti-spark, really important to use this one. And then for the charging port I just use a uh, DC plug. So what you have to do every time is that you have to obviously remove these uh, bolts that you have here holding uh, the cover on. And then you just uh, remove the velcro and take the battery out. But let's start at the beginning and I will show you how I did everything. So as you might notice now, um, I don't have any sound from my recording, it's uh, all a lot of background noise and you can't hear shit of what I'm saying. So it's all gonna be voice over and some uh, non-copyrighted music, um, but I hope you're fine with that. So first of all, remove the fuse, that's really important, and after that you see me cutting the uh, positive and the negative, and then I just put some tape on them just to make sure. So for removing the battery, it's uh, it's attached to the bottom with uh, double-sided tape, and it's usually not that hard to get it out. The first time I got my, mine out, it was like really easy. You have to work a bit for that, um, but it's doable. After that, you gotta clean all uh, all of that uh, tape residue off, and I just used whatever I had in the garage uh, that re removed um, glue residue. So do that. So next up I'm gonna solder the DC jack to the charging port and I'm, I've already soldered it to the charger as you see here. So be careful don't cut both wires here at the same time because then you might short it out with a plier. And I'm using flux here just to get a good solder joint. Don't forget your heat shrink on here. And then I'm doing the positive too and uh, after that I'll just put the... Um, the protective uh, cover on it. So I figured it would be a good idea to try the charging and here you see me trying the charger. The red light means that it's charging and when I disconnect it it goes green that means that there is no load on it. So it's working. Charger is working fine. Next up I am uh, preparing the positive and the negative for the XT90 and yeah you're gonna put some heat shrink on that one and the uh, cover and after that you just see me soldering that one on with some uh, flux on it. Uh, make sure to put the black on the negative side and the positive on the positive side, it's just a good thing to always do. And now the positive cable and some flux on that and some heat and solder. I'm using a leaded solder so it's the 6040 and it makes it a lot easier to solder with and you don't have to have as high temperature. Uh, here you see me soldering the same uh, connector down on the scooter. I just put a extension cable on it and a lot of flux too. Solder, solder, solder.
slide the battery in and then you cut the velcro wherever you need it to be sized at. Anyway guys, that's it. This is the project finished and it's a kind of simple mod and it makes a big difference. I'm sure a lot of you are gonna need this, uh, this mod to your fast scooters. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and um, if you have any questions, if I'm unclear about something, put a question in the comment section and I will try to help you out. Anyway, thank you for watching and see you next time.